Hey guys, it's me, the Red Jetix, and I'm here playing No Man's Sky. Can't remember what I was doing exactly last time I was here. Ah. Of course. But still, how could I forget you? You lovely... You lovely specimen. So, what guys are you? What are you guys looking forward to with next? Personally, I hope they take out the current survival features, because, in my opinion. They are the center. And, oh yeah, I remember now. I don't have enough material to take off. They are sort of at the center at... They are sort of the center of a lot of the game's problems. Like... If you use descriptions... Like the descriptions that are usually used for the game, even its current state that it's... Tedious. Slow. Sluggish. Repetitive. Like, survival mechanics are sort of at the center of that. Get him like a giant crater right here. Maybe. Ah. Were those damn whips? Yeah, next, I hope they take out the current survival features and replace them with a more simple system. Because having to constantly recharge all your equipment, even in the later stages of the game, when you're down on a planet, really robs the game of any legitimate feeling of progression or experience. So what you're doing at the beginning of the game is what you'll still be doing at the end of the game. I also do hope that next... Though... This could obviously come with later updates, but that we get more on-planet structures, like ruins. I think ruins would be the best fit. Like, some city ruins, uh, airport terminal ruins. You know, just like, ruins that indicate that there was once a civilization here, but... For some reason, it's, uh... It's gone. I'll give the game a very post-apocalyptic feel, because, like, when you get into the lore of the game, it's quite interesting and, uh, almost tragic in a way. Almost. Because while it is sort of convenient, that there are no buildings or structures in the game because of a uh, because for some reason the developers decided not to put them in there at launch. I mean, like the game can generate structures, smaller ones like the empty, abandoned outposts, the smaller ruins you see, and uh, hmm. And allows you to create your own structures. I'm talking about like more fleshed out ones. Like city ruins. Temple ruins. 
uh, ship factory ruins, you know, that kind of stuff. And going back to the survival mechanics, I don't think survival itself should be stripped out, but I don't think it should be, should have the rule it currently has, I think. Its presence in the game should be minimized because the 2015 version of the game, the survival aspect played a very minor role. I mean, it was there, but the whole thing about planets with vibes like this, the percentage of them was a hell of a lot less than what we currently have now, where basically every planet has some crazy biome in which you need to survive. I mean, it used to be that if you go on a planet and you'd be, and you'd be just fine, you didn't need to worry about making sure that your suit had enough resources to keep you from dying. So, that was quite nice. Though, I don't know if anyone really remembers, but early 2016, the game received a huge, huge feature change, and all of a sudden, it was way more survival focused than it ever was before. And people reacted very positively to this. So, when the game actually launched, and a stripped down version. I don't know the accuracy stripped down because, like, even though according to data mining, older builds of the games do exist, like, these they're not just features you could easily reactivate, like, it takes a lot of work. And Rayroid, uh, No Man's Sky modder would know that. But, uh... And basically all the survival stuff was left in. And... I guess one thing people assume... Like, the way people assume survival works in the game is that, like, over time you probably get the seats that would, uh... You know... Ah, shit. Ah, there we go. I feel like done today. Huh? Zing. Of course I need zinc. What the hell is it now? I didn't do anything to you. I see the ammo is just attacking for no reason. I get that it's his temperament, but just sort of annoying. No, no, come back here. You don't just do that to me. I get it. You have simple. You have a simple thinking process. So, where is that zinc? Ain't sort of interesting. I was attacked by something like that, and they don't have a hostile temperament towards me. So I'm just wondering. Like, if you're gonna attack me, can there at least be a reason? Okay, so this is the final time I'm going to bring up survival. But I sort of had this idea for how survival could work in next or in future updates. Where instead of you having to do play this game with upkeep where you constantly need to find materials and resources that will help keep you alive. 
and you're still dealing with this in the end game where you'll have to find the same amount of resources and materials huh right. oh it's you lovely you know another thing with these ones some reasons they're really fast like they hit you really really fast I was thinking instead of having your suit uh, take care of all these things for you instead you need to have like there'll be certain plants in the games with biomes like this that will harm you but it won't compromise most of the planets like maybe 20% so there's a possibility that you'll come across one but it's not guaranteed and it generally won't happen But, when you go on these lines, you won't have to do this game of upkeep where you, your stuff is running out of energy, where things may break. It won't be like that. It won't be that punishing and that tedious. And you won't need to be worrying about running out of, of material. Instead, the way it'll work is that the damage you take from maybe any battles you participate in or from the environment itself the more damage you take sorry, the more damage not you specifically these damn things keep attacking me I don't know why I don't get it oh they haven't been in how am I supposed to know that? They look harmless. Uh, yeah, I get it that Sean basically wanted animals, some animals in this game, basically be like a rabbit that could kick your ass, but like, every single one of them seems to be that way. Like the ones that would actually be intimidating. Actually. They don't look intimidating at all. This look weird. Ugh. The sound design doesn't help. Oh crap. The sound design doesn't help either. Oh, lovely heat storm. Uh... I don't think I don't know what you're gonna do to me, you piece of shit. There we go. <sighs> so yeah. Basically, the way survival would work, according to my suggestion, is that you'd wear a certain suit. You wear a certain suit or upgrades that would work for this planet, for the planet you're on. No, okay. So you need to get a specific type of suit or specific types of upgrades to your suit that would protect you from the environment of the planet. But any damage that technology takes or any damage that suit takes, they'd be able to protect you less and less. Meaning that certain... You'd start uh, being affected by certain uh, environmental effects, like maybe for example an ice planet Oops. 
Maybe for example on Ice Planet, your ice suit or your ice suit upgrades or your Tundra environment upgrades. And you know they're somewhat damaged. Slowly your suit the edges of your helmet start to freeze over like in the game already. But as time goes on, the more damage you get. Not only that, you start moving slower. A lot slower. And your internal body temp your body temperature goes down as well. Like instead of the temperature counter being that of uh, the environment, it's a counter for internal body temperature. That starts to go down as well. And then it's so damaged, you can barely move at all. And you're really struggling with your controller, trying to get your character to move. But they're basically suffering from Oof. At that point, they're basically suffering from hyperthermia and frostbite. And then, you're losing health very slowly. Oh no, you lose health really quickly. Like, maybe it's slow, but then it starts to speed up faster. Faster the more damage your ice suit gets, or your ice tundra biome upgrades get. And then you just die. Yeah, it sounds simpler than what we have now, but... It feels a lot, sounds a lot less tedious and frustrating than what we have now. I'd rather, I actually like that. Units are traceable by authorities. So I didn't get my multi tool. You better give me my money back. I got some problems. While the presentation of these interactions are still sort of poor, the interactions themselves have gotten a little more interesting and varied, which is nice. Hey, stop that. I think you're addicted. Huh.
Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. And I'll do next time. So anyways guys, that was my No Man's Sky playthrough. Thanks for coming to my channel. Remember to do the usual. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.